All right, guys, so I am going to read Chris B's book, and this is the first time I'm reading it. Just got it in the mail today, so I'm going to be reading it right along with you guys. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Planet Earth Seized of Destruction by Christopher Anthony Barry. And of course, edited by, uh, what's her name? Editor Haley C Elaine Cook. Because they can't let us forget that. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. Chapter one. May 14th, 2025. The day the world came to an end. It all began on a beautiful, sunny, clear day in California. Chris woke up to what seemed to be a normal day. Getting ready for work, putting on his blue jeans and white t-shirt. Eyes half open, pouring himself a cup of coffee, just as he turned on the morning news, he saw the day as it all unfolded right before his eyes. It's happening. He was right. The day he was hoping to never see, it was here. Oil workers began their day by putting on their hard hats and grabbing their sledgehammers. Miners started to... <laughs> I'm sorry, he spelled it like miners, like children, miners. Okay. Uh, miners started to pull coal and take their pickaxes to the mine shaft. Fast food workers putting on their aprons and firing up the grills, getting ready for what seemed to be a normal day of work for everyone. Chris's best friend Shelby is getting ready for his day of Caltrans mandatory from the judge because of some trouble he got into. The main worker slammed on the gas and hit the brakes hard at each stoplight he approached, speeding around playing music very loud. They call him Rocker Steve, roaring his rock music, doing U-turns in the middle of the busy 74 highway to get to the location he needs to pick up the trash and cut the overgrown dead weeds. So, um, is that Shelby? I guess? I'm not sure. Chris had always warned others about pulling oil from the planet Earth and what destruction it could possibly cause. But others looked at him as if he were crazy and lost his mind. At 6.30 a.m. in the morning, just as Chris was watching the news unfold the terrible devastation of what is to come, he heard a huge crash and rumbling noise. Just then, the house started to shake and rattle. Chris ran and ducked for cover until the tragic noise and shaking had stopped. He turned back on the t he turned back on the TV to find out what had just happened. Again, another earthquake bringing down buildings and homes all across the world. First, they showed Mexico, then Japan, and next China. Devastating images were shown on the TV screen, people running for their lives, looking for shelter, trying to find safety. It was clear safety was no longer an option. These earthquakes have been repeating themselves almost every day, but this one was not the normal earthquake like most have felt. It was the earthquake that shook, it was the kind of earthquake that shook your entire body, unable to catch yourself from falling over. Shortly after, the trembling stopped. Chris felt he needed to just go about his day and head off to work. As Chris was at work, him and his friends were talking about the earthquakes and what had just occurred. Chris mentioned his theory about the earthquakes and why they might be occurring. He explained to his friends that it's a possibility that these earthquakes are from us, the people pulling oil from the ground. The pollution it is putting off is poisoning the planet Earth making not only the earth sick, but noticing it is making the people, us humans, sick as well. That, in turn, shows how bad we are destroying the planet and making it sick. With all the deforestation cutting all of our natural life resources down, such as trees, where our animals live and survive, destroying our environment, it's not good for the planet as it uses those resources to live and produce the oxygen and food we need to survive. Chris's friends then began to laugh. Some of his co-workers, well, <laughs> I don't blame them. 
Some of his co-workers were actually interested to hear and learn more of what Chris had to say, but Chris brushed it off and went about his day and uh, didn't mention it any more about his theory. Just as Chris finished off his day at work, he was heading home just as another devastating earthquake occurred. On an overpass freeway that overlapped the other freeways was a much stronger earthquake. It started to take down the bridges and freeways, causing the cars to lose control, crashing into one another, falling through the holes in the freeway that the earthquake made. Chris had to slam on the brakes of his truck, put it in reverse, Fuck. and started speeding backwards to avoid falling off the freeway. Dodging all the other parked cars from people standing watching the bridge collapse down in a panic. The freeways began to crack more and started to break off, falling chunk by chunk, taking cars and people down with it. One of the people being a motorcycle cop. Okay. Some people were getting stuck between the rebar they used to build the freeways as some people were hanging on for dear life. Just as help was arriving, the ambulance lost control between the cracks and slammed into the pile of cars, losing their life in that instant, collapsing the bridge completely, causing everything to fall. Chris barely made it to a safe zone. I mean, he barely made it to a safe zone by speeding backwards and driving in reverse the entire time this was all happening. It was devastating, as Chris was looking around at what had just unfolded right in front of his eyes. Another person was hanging off the freeway, barley clenching the steel rebar with his one hand, hanging on for dear life. Chris ran over to the guy, hearing his shrieks and cry for help. Just then, Chris reached for the man by grabbing his hand and pulling up, barley saving his life. After the man was safe, Chris grabbed for his phone from his left pocket to call his wife and son and probably to post about it on Facebook to make sure everyone knew what a hero he was. Uh, to make sure that they were safe, of course. After he knew his family was safe, then he called his close friend Shelby to explain what had just occurred before his very eyes. Chris once again spoke of his theory about how pulling oil from the earth is going to create destruction and explaining to Shelby what had just happened and how he had been keeping tabs on what has been unfolding in the world throughout these years. Okay, I am going to read the second chapter later today because I'm starving. So, anyways, I'm going to upload this chapter right now. <laughs>